Let's jump into a body weight, hip and a glute activation routine. We're gonna start on the floor. Actually, the whole thing's gonna be on the floor. So let's get down and we're gonna start with, you can start on either side, but we're gonna start with clams and you're gonna keep your hips stacked perpendicular to the floor throughout these movements that we're stacked here, okay? So let's get started. So you can lay down on your side, hand underneath your head, or lay all the way down. Remember, keep those hips, sta hips stacked, and you're going to open up your knee, and you're not rotating. You're just only opening it up, up your hip, to end range. And this is just the warm up because we're going to do a couple more exercises right here in a similar fashion. Press into the ground with your bottom leg. All right, now come up onto your arm and we're going to do a hold, but you're going to hold the clam up with your hips. You're going to lift through your hip opening up those legs, push your hips forward and hold. Keep that neck nice and long, in line with your spine and the rest of your body, supporting yourself through your forearm. All right, and now you're gonna dip your hip and press up. Opening up the clam again. Keep those hips stacked straight on top of each other, perpendicular to the floor. Push your hips forward. As you're opening them up, you're pushing your hips forward. All right, we're gonna rotate onto our back now. And move right into a hip thrust. All right, make sure to posture your pelvic tilt as you're lifting your glutes, squeezing through your glutes, pressing through your heels into the ground. And then we're gonna move into a split stance bridge. So you're just gonna separate one of your legs further out in front of you, about a foot's width, and put most of the weight in the foot that is closer to your bum, and do a nice little pulse. You're not putting a lot of weight into that other leg. It's just to support you, and you're putting most of that mind to muscle activation and the other glute. All right, bring your legs together again, bridge both legs. And then after this one, we'll switch to the other side, the other leg. Keep that hip, those hips posterior pelvic tilted, posteriorly <laughs> tilted. All right, and split stance. So other leg about a foot in front of you. So your heel is about where your toes are and push through at the heel of the leg closest to you to activate that glute specifically. All right, and now we're going to switch to the other side and do clams again, but on the other side. So lay down, head down, knees bent, hips stacked, and open your knees just to the point where your hips can open up to. Squeeze both glutes as you're lifting that top leg. Grounding that supporting leg. Okay, now come up to onto your forearm and hips up. And then as you lift your knee, push your hips forward and hold. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those glutes. Keep your 
spine in line. And hips down and lift up. Remembering you can see your hips back, but as you open your knees, squeeze your, squeeze your hips and push your hips forward. And let's go back onto the ground and let's do some frog pumps. So you put your heels together, keep your heels close to your bum, and press up through your hips, posture your pelvic tilting, and squeeze. Try to make sure, again, like my hips are, oh, I don't think I said that in this video actually. <laughs> my hips are twisted. So I have to make sure to keep my hips straight. Okay, now let's move right into the pump. Stay right here, squeeze those heels together, push your feet into the ground. As you're squeezing your glutes up, keep your core nice and stable. All right, now move into a bridge, a wider bridge. So wider than your hips and lift up. Squeeze. It's actually beneficial to put your hands down and like you push your heels into the ground, you push your hands into the ground. All right, now we're gonna hold. You push your hands and your forearms, all everything into the ground. Squeeze your backside. You'll work uh, not just your lower posterior chain, but your upper posterior chain. This is the last exercise, by the way. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Make sure that those hips are tilted forward. Activity complete. Ooh, and that's it. Good job. Okay. 